Item number SCP-7417, Security Level 3, Containment Class Euclid, Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Notice. Assigned Site, Site 400, Site Director, Director Adam Desmond. Research Head, Not Applicable, Assigned Task Force, Not Applicable. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-7417 is currently housed in the Standard Humanoid Accommodations Chamber at Site 400. Request for entertainment amenities such as books, board games, or video games is to be approved. With supervision from her current research head, presently Dr. Sebastian Lennox and Dr. Winsor Gladwin. Update, presently Dr. Winsor Gladwin. Description SCP-7417 is the designation given to Kristen Claudia, a Caucasian human adolescent female of British descent, currently 166 centimeters in height and possessing green eyes and long brown hair. Prior to containment, SCP-7417 was employed as a local kindergarten school teacher in Newcastle, Northern Ireland. SCP-7417 possesses a unique form of functional precognition where, upon visual perceiving any object, including living entities, she is capable of viewing their physical appearance as how they are approximately one year later. For example, upon looking at an apple, a delicious variant, SCP-7417 reported seeing it as merely being a pile of assorted fertilized soil. Testing on how it's possible to alter the fate of perceived objects is still ongoing. Addendum 7417-1 Interview Log Date 12th of September 2018 Present Dr. Sebastian Lennox Begin Log Dr. Lennox enters the interview room. Hello, 7417. My name's Dr. Lennox. I'm just here to ask you some questions. Upon laying eyes on Dr. Sebastian, SCP-7417 suddenly jumps up from a chair and steps back. Oh, God! Holy cloth! Whoa! Are you alright? What's wrong? Get away from me! Oh, God! It's horrible! SCP-7417 retreats to a corner of the room and covers her face with both of her hands. Sobbing is audible. 7417, what's the matter? Why are you? SCP-7417 looks up. Your faith, your freaking faith. It's freaking gone. Get the frick away from me. Dr. Lennox exits the interview room. And log. Debriefing log. Date, 12th of September, 2018. Present. Dr. Sebastian Lennox and Dr. Windsor Gladwin. Begin log. Dr. Lennox enters the observation chamber. Through a camera monitor, SCP-7417 can still be seen sitting in the corner and covering her face. Jesus, the hell was that? You good? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Just confused? You're not the only one. What was she screaming about, anyway? Something about my faith being gone. Like I'm gonna lose my faith? Huh. Weird. Are you religious by any chance? Yeah, Catholic. Right, okay. The doc didn't say anything about 7417 having spiritual precognition. Might need to look into that more. You sure you're alright? You don't look too good. I'm fine, really. A little bit shaken up is all. Hmm. End law. In concern of further distressing SCP-7417, Dr. Winsor Gladwin has requested the reassignment of Dr. Sebastian Lennox to another project. This request was approved. Addendum 7417-2 On the 23rd of October, 2019, SCP-457 SCP-457 is a sentient humanoid entity composed of flame, reached containment in Site-400, resulting in extensive damage to the West Wing and multiple injured Foundation personnel. During the breach, 
Dr. Sebastian Lennox, who was assigned to SCP-457 at the time, suffered varying degrees of burns throughout his face and torso. After SCP-457 was successfully recontained, Dr. Lennox was rushed to the on-site health and pathology infirmary for immediate treatment. Date, 23rd of October, 2019. Present, Dr. Sebastian Lennox, Dr. Winsor Gladwin. Begin log. Dr. Lennox can be seen wearing a hospital gown and resting in a health cot, his face entirely covered with bandages. Hey, Abut, how are you doing? I'll be lying if I said I was fine. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, remember 7417? Are you still assigned to her? Yep, reintegration program doing wonders for her. Why do you ask? You still remember the only time I met her? Where, you know, she cried about me losing my faith? I think that she might be right. I don't know. Right now, I'm asking myself a lot of things. Thinking about and reconsidering some stuff, you know? Maybe that's why she was so scared. Oh, yeah. About that, I've, uh, been meaning to tell you. What? I regularly talk to her, and I'd assume you didn't notice when you first met her, but... What is it, man? You're literally killing me here. It's not as non-literal as you thought it was. 7417 has a lisp. And log. 